Booms, it's your queen Boom Boom, Trina Braxton, giving you another four o'clock rock drink of the week. You know what, the holiday season is my favorite time of the year, so I'm gonna give you guys one of my holiday favorite drinks, and it's called Mulled Wine, yum. So, what you need is one bottle of wine, 750 milliliters. You're also gonna need oranges, cloves, whole cinnamon sticks, and a wonderful appetite. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to pour your whole bottle of wine into either a ceramic or stainless steel pot. Why do you wanna do that? Because you don't wanna put it in an aluminum pot because it'll alter the taste of your wine and have that metallic taste on the end of it. So you don't wanna use an aluminum pot. So you're gonna put all of your ingredients, you're gonna put your wine, you're gonna put your oranges, you're gonna put your cloves, and you're gonna put your cinnamon sticks in your pot. And I'm gonna give you a really, really great secret. Since cloves, and you want whole cloves, since cloves are slightly pointed at the top, one of the things you can do is squeeze them into your orange halves. So that way you won't have a lot of sediment at the end of your drink. You don't have to end up scooping it out. So like I said, I've already prepared some of the wine into this pot, and it is a ceramic pot. And I'm just gonna squeeze the juice from my orange into the pot, and I'm just gonna pop it into my little pot here, and, it, and all the cloves and all that wonderful aroma, it's gonna resonate throughout your home, and you're gonna love the way it smells. And what you're gonna do is gonna let it simmer for just 20 minutes, and you wanna make sure that your concoction does not come to a boil. Now, if it does come to a boil, what you're gonna do is you're gonna diminish the alcoholic content in your drink, and that's not something you wanna do. If you don't want alcoholic mulled wine, what you can do is use apple cider instead. You'll come up with the same effect, of course a different flavor, but it's a holiday wonderment all the same. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a wonderful clear mug, because you wanna enjoy the nice red color of your wine. And just scoop a little bit out. And since we don't have the seeds and we don't have the cloves, you don't have to worry about scooping out too much sediment. And I like to have a nice little piece of orange to rest on the top of my wine. I keep it nice and hot. I like to see the steam pump. I don't like for it to cool down because I like to get right to it, just like a kid at Christmas. Mm, it's very delicious. Now, sometimes when you do have your mulled wine, it can be a little bitter. So if you choose, you can add a little bit of brown sugar, maybe half a cup of brown sugar. You stir your mixture until your brown sugar is dissolved and you're done.